We are back here on Carolina Women, and Erin and I are excited uh, to sit to talk to you today. It is great to see you, Thank Kelly you. McCann. We're talking about photography. We're talking about portraits. We're talking about favorite places to do all of those things. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, I appreciate Kelly, it. Kelly, I know that you've been here for a while and you are quite well known for your portrait photography. And we were just curious about what sets you apart. Talk to us a little bit about your business. Well, um, I do have a degree, so I like to start off with that because I, I do have a degree in photojournalism. I, I went to RIT for my photojournalism degree and I worked in newspapers full time for 10 years before I jumped out in my own business. So um, my art is more in the printed form. So where others may stop at after the photo session and they're done with you, I have you come to my studio. I, I help my clients select their portraits, be it for a wall or for a collection and design portraits for them um, that best suits their needs. I have a question, you've got five kids. <laughs> Was there, what is a perfect time or is there a perfect time to get a portrait of your family done when it sort of will represent the kids? You know, babies change, Yeah. but I wondered about an age, if an age range for kids that it's great. Well, I think that the tweens or even before they're going off to college, because if, you're, oh, that's if your kids are like me, I you know went away to college and then I stayed there for the summer, so I did not come back. Okay. And then shortly after that, about a year and a half later, I moved south. So I rarely see my family and I don't have you know, the big senior portrait on the wall, or I don't even have a family portrait, um, which, you know, is kind of a pain point that we don't have a family portrait of all of us together before we all went our separate ways. Do you have people who do it every year? Oh, do you really? Yeah, and sometimes, you know, just um, correlating with maybe the holidays, they want to do mm -hmm. a holiday card or things like that, but it is nice to document because as yeah. you know too, they exactly. change overnight when they're One of the things yeah. we that we were talking about is what sets you a little bit apart. Are you one to say, okay, I'd like you to not smile. I would like you to smile. I want you to be yeah. silly. I mean, is, right. is there, yeah. The personality of the individual. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's just interacting with them on site. Um, it's, you know, it depends on the size group because I do lots of families that are 20 and larger. So mm -hmm. that's a lot to deal with right there. <laughs> a so a right. lot of faces to look at and a lot of uh, personalities. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the family, but yeah, we'll you know try to interact with them, especially if it's a small group of children, you know, a small group, uh, like four or five immediate family with children and try to let the children even do their own thing um, and just kind of document them as they are and not really coach them too much, but see what they're doing in that time. Do you have a favorite place to shoot? Um, well, I used to go everywhere on the island, but it's either the very south end on South Beach or wow. up at Mitchellville Beach because the sun oh, sets pretty. on the, you know, be on the west end of the beach up in Mitchellville or over, uh, uh, Defusky in, in South South Beach. So those are the best spots, but you can photograph anywhere. You just won't have the sunset because the sunset's behind the buildings on the other areas. Do you recommend uh, what we should be wearing to the photo shoots? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> not khaki and white anymore. We do not have to do that. We don't have to be all matchy-matchy. Um, okay. Just coordinate. I always suggest that mom wears something that she's comfortable in that fits well, but not too snug or too flowy because we're on the beach. Um, but solid colors are always the best. And then everybody tries to coordinate to, to what mom is wearing. Because, okay. yeah, of course, mom's the most important in our portraits. Mm -hmm. um, but solid colors, you know, uh, beach colors, beach tones, you know, white is very glaring. Um, Lots Got of it. patterns are a little too much too. Do you do senior portraits? Yes, I do senior portraits Ooh. as well. So. Sometimes they like to bring more than one look. <laughs> yes, change. yeah, I have, I, I, we yeah. Get, have different times for them. So if they're going on the beach, that's usually an hour before sunset or a little closer to sunset for a senior. Um, but we can do different locations and have them change into different outfits as well for their personality. Do you still love it? Is it still fun? How has it evolved since you began doing portraits? Oh, well, um, <laughs> back in the day, I used to shoot film. Okay. So it's changed a lot in that way since um, I, we used to have proofs that would go out to our clients. Um, now with digital, it's changed the, the scene a lot um, mm -hmm. because everybody is a photographer now. But um, you know, I still you know believe in printed portraits for families. But I still have fun dealing with you know doing family portraits and, and helping them select their portraits of, of the best portraits of their session. Well, Kelly, you know what you're doing. It is great to have you. And again, senior portraits. I love I that. Know, it's that the time, time of the year. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Stay with us here on Carolina Women. There's a lot more to come.